So how many of you have indulged in cheesy, oily, fried food and ice cream with strawberry sauce and chocolate topping and once we have enjoyed all that, we just don't want to do any exercise. We just pray that somehow our body burns all that fat with a high metabolic rate so that none of that fat is going to get accumulated anywhere, especially around our waistline, right? I'm sure most of you feel exactly as I do. Now, I just wanted to say that we can probably deviate some of that faith on one particular structure in our own body, which does exactly that kind of work. Yes, I'm talking about the thyroid gland. Now, the interesting thing about thyroid gland is it can increase the basal metabolic rate by about 60 to 100 percent. Isn't that awesome? So, what we want is we don't want a round body which is going to shake like a jelly, right? So this we can correlate with the thyroid gland which microscopically has round round small follicles which contains a gel like colloid. So this gel like colloid is what is having the secret ingredient. There are basically two secret ingredients. One of it is this amino acid which is tyrosine. Now this tyrosine mixes with iodine and it forms two thyroid hormones which is T3 and T4. Easy to remember, right? So this T3 is triiodothyronine, which is not a majority. It is just produced like 7% of the entire production actually. But this one is 4 to 5 times more potent than the other one, which is T4. In fact, we want instant result, right? In this 5G world, this T3 can act as fast as in 1 to 2 days whereas T4 takes about 10 to 12 days to take maximum effect. But still I don't think that it is a bad thing because once it takes maximum effect, it can go on for like several weeks to about like 2 months. Just imagine the amount of indulgence that we can do in that time. Just thinking about it makes me really happy. So the next question is, how does this thyroid gland work? Basically, what it does is it just increases the activity and the number of mitochondria in most of our body cells. The mitochondria, as we know, is the energy house of the cell, producing all that energy. Not only that, it is also going to decrease the level of cholesterol and triglycerides in our blood. So, I'm wondering how I can stimulate my thyroid gland to produce more of this thyroid hormone. Actually, the body itself takes care of it. How it does is, there is a small bell in the center of our brain called as the pituitary gland. Now, this bell has to be rung. How it does that is, this pituitary gland senses the blood levels of the hormone. Now, if it is decreasing, automatically it sends a thyroid stimulating hormone to produce more of this hormone. But can we do anything about it? Actually, there are drugs available. Tablets for people who are suffering from low thyroid hormone levels. So, I wouldn't be advising you to take those tablets unless you have talked to your physician. Okay, so is there any other way we can do? Now, I can think of the well-documented example, which is when person who went to the Arctic region, what happened was, it is documented that pretty soon, they developed a metabolic rate which is increased by 15 to 20 percent. But we all cannot just move to the arctic region so i also came across another article where a study was quoted where people were made to sit in air conditioned room with temperature ranging from like 60 to 65 degree fahrenheit which is basically like 15 to 18 degree centigrade so these people sat in this air conditioned room for like one hour the first day then two hours the second day and about four hours for next eight days in the end what was found was there was an increased basal metabolic rate but i've heard that air conditioning is bad for health right so can we do it or not if you can bear that cold temperature probably i leave it up to you if you want to try but i don't think i can bear that kind of cold temperature so i would rather do an exercise for 15 to 30 minutes per day and get it over with Thank you so much for joining today. I will see you in the next one.